Hello everyone and welcome back to another episode in our Altered Art Spotlight series brought to you in part by Magic Madhouse and the official MTG Altered Art Facebook group. If you enjoy seeing gorgeous Altered Art cards all the time, please go like the Facebook page. Who doesn't love staring at pretty stuff all day? I mean, come on, it's a no-brainer. In this episode, we're going to showocase a plethora of artists, big and small. We'll look at some Pokemon tokens, a cool Dragon Ball tribute, the most terrifying clown I've ever seen, and more. I do hope you enjoyed the video, and if you do, remember to hit that like button, helps out a lot. We'll begin with this awesome Monkey King Gohan, made by artwork by Tori. I think Gideon Champion of Justice was a pretty cool choice for this piece, but that's secondary to just how impressive the artwork is. Tori really captured the animation style here. I love the shadowing work around the feet, the contours on the clothing, the facial expression, the tail details, everything. If I wanted a Monkey King Gohan altar, this is pretty much exactly what I'd be looking for. And that little Dragon Ball star in the top right, love it. It's the little things. Even the wraps around his shoes, it's just so good. I'm a big fan. Next up, we have Nando Altars haunting my dreams with this disturbing clown. I have an unreasonable fear of clowns, and this altar is not helping me deal with that. It looks so real, it's like a picture instead of a drawing. You know what? It's the eyes, and the shading around the eyes. How sinister, am I right? Anyways, it's really unnerving to look at. But I think it deserved a spotlight here simply because of how dang real it looks. It's so creepy. Please never bring this to me, whoever owns it. I'll be thinking about this one for days. God, so creepy. Now this is particularly baller. Kevin LePage has created something truly extraordinary. This worldly tutor is the most ridiculous worldly tutor I've ever seen. Worldly tutor isn't even supposed to be foil. The border is broken and cracked, basically falling apart, revealing the extended artwork behind, and the tutor himself has a crazy awesome aura emanating from him. Look at his eyes, that's so cool! Add that to the beautiful floral arrangement on the bottom of the card and the wonderful border extension, and there's a lot going on here. And thankfully it's all awesome. This is one of those altars that will turn heads in games. My goodness, this is absolutely stunning, very impressive. Peach Squeeze Altars is up next with the latest iteration of Spawn, and this one is impressive to say the least. It's the little details that bring this altar to greatness. From the spikes, to the chain, to the glossy feel, it's everything I want Spawn to be. And on Obnixilis, not bad. Not bad at all. I'm always a fan of altars designed to pay homage to a specific character, and when they're well done, any fan of that particular character would be happy to own it. And I'm confident this is one of those altars. I'm actually a bit jealous. I want it. It's very nice. Our last two pieces of the day come from 20-something art, and they're much lighter and more whimsical than what we've looked at so far. I adore token altars, I adore Pokemon, so when I see Pokemon token altars, naturally I'm intrigued. I'm sharing these specific altars because the colors used in the art style are both very comforting, very light. It's difficult to explain, but these altars are more jovial than, say, the clown we looked at earlier. Not everyone is going to be a fan of these types of altars, but I just can't get past the lighthearted nature of them. I'm a huge fan. And that's going to do it for this episode. If you enjoyed any of the artwork you saw today, be sure to check the description for all of the artist's information so you can get your own altered cards. Also, go like the Facebook page. If you do, you're going to see pretty things like this all the time. Obvious improvement to your life guaranteed. Also, if you want to see any specific kinds of altars, be sure to leave your thoughts below, and I'll do my best to find something wonderful for the next episode. As always, thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time.